Okay, what we have here is a circuit board with a bad output relay on it. I've identified it there with the tape. And what we're going to do is just go through, through some uh, soldering, desoldering techniques and soldering techniques to remove a, a component like this. It's a four pin, and here's the replacement part. It's an Omron. It's a four pin DC um, output relay, five volt DC. Now switching whatever outputs you want to put on there, probably 110 volt. So we'll uh, zoom in on this so we can get a good look at how this is going to work. Go ahead and take it out. So these are the items I'm going to be using. I've got my Weller soldering iron and I've got some rosin coarse solder here. Um, a sponge, of course, to clean my tip off. This is a beveled type tip on this iron. And um, then I'm also going to use this solder sucking device right here, which basically, when you it's spring loaded, you get it over the molten solder, release it, um, and it'll pull up, pulling the solder into a chamber in here. And when you push this down, the solder will come back out. If you can see that tip there, the solder will come back out the end. And this is handy on a circuit board like this. This circuit board is basically a uh, through plated, through hold board. It's very difficult to use solder wick on a board like this. It'll take you a lot longer and uh, increase the chances of possibly damaging the board. And so go ahead and get started then. Okay, so I have the tip tinned. I have a little bit of solder on it. And always want to get the greatest surface area when you're doing this. The widest part of the pin to the widest part of the iron. Okay, once that's hot, you can put this tip on and get ready to put it right over the pin, like so. You can see now that I have already pulled some solder out of there. I notice when I retract this now, there's my little bit of solder that fell out. So that's the concept here with the solder sucker. And it takes a few times on each one of these four pins in this case. Get it out. You kind of have to use a two handed motion with this type of solder sucker, which is a very simple one and inexpensive. But you have to have one in the left hand and one in the right, so I guess you need a little bit of dexterity. But so again, get it ready, put it in place, release it, then it pulls it up. And we already have that pin most of the way loose, so we'll just repeat this on the other ones going through that same technique. So it does take a few tries. I have this pin now completely broken loose. One of the techniques when you get it heated up, you get this down on here, you want to get it flat, flush, and then hit the release on it so that you don't lose any vacuum uh, by having gaps in there. And this tip also on this type can be sharpened up, which I filed it a little bit, not sharpened but flattened, because it does, although it's heat resistant and hardened, it does still tend to get a little dinged up at the end. So I now have all four of these pretty well loose, so I'm going to drop the relay out. Okay, so with them all broken loose, now we can just gently lift our relay out. Apparently on this one pin, one of the legs broke off as I was doing this. So sometimes you have to just reheat the pad and push it through here with a dental pick since it broke off in there, unfortunately. There, I just heard it fall out. So the relay fell out, there it is. The middle pin broke off. See that? So we'll get the rest of the solder out of here. Now there's just a little bit left around this one with our sucker and then install the new one. Okay, I had trouble with a little bit of solder wick that's stuck here, or solder that's stuck right here. With the new relay in place, installation is always the easier part of pretty much any job. We're done. All that remains to do is test it, put it back into good into use. Thanks for watching.